Hi everyone, welcome back to another TechNerd tutorial. Today we're going to be finishing our home server series by installing Puigo, an online photo album web application. Puigo is an online photo gallery software, which is why I like it for photos a little bit better than Plex, especially because it does have active users and developers. We can see on the download button that their latest release is February 16th. We do see the features, the albums, tags, themes, and privacy, a quick start, as well as a showcase of some example Puigo photo galleries. There is a quick start with a few steps. We aren't going to use these steps too much, but we are going to click the download button number two, and we want to click on download package. We can just simply open this with the archive manager from Firefox, and it's going to take us to another page, but then our archive manager will come up. We can click on the PeeWeeGo folder and extract it, and where we want to extract it is to our home location. It should be checked by default, but just double check. And once you have ensured that's the home location, you can go ahead and click the extract button. It will then extract the folder to that location. I'm just going to click show the files to see in our home folder, there's now the PeeWeeGo folder that we need. And close the file explorer, close the archive manager. Now we're ready to do a little bit of coding for us to install PeeWeeGo. Now the install instructions for the manual installation is a little bit more complicated because we have to transfer files and all that stuff if it was a remote server. But because this is our home server and we're working in our home server interface, we can skip all that anyways. Go to step three for the configuration. And when we look down, we will see that on top of moving the file to the correct locations, we do have the MySQL database. I just skipped it, so I'm gonna scroll back up. I have the MySQL database settings. So that's the second thing we're gonna set up is to create a new table for the Pugo as well. So first thing is we're gonna move the Puigo folder to our web server. So that's where we have our sudo move Puigo to var www slash html, put in our password. And the second thing we need to do to it is we need to give the web server permissions, which is the second line that you'll see also at the bottom of your screen as well. Once all that's done, that's all the setup for that. We just need to log into our MySQL with the MySQL hyphen u, our root user hyphen p, and now that we're in as root, we can just go ahead and create our database and we're gonna entitle this database Pewigo. You can name it whatever you like. Then we can go ahead and exit MySQL and we're done with the SQL database. So we're simplifying the instructions here just so that it's a little easier to do the install. We can now go to our server's web address. If you've missed the instructions for this, you will see it on the screen somewhere. And from here, we can now go to PeeWeeGo. We can choose our default language. And from here, the first is the database. So we'll put in our root and our root password, and then the database that we just created, PeeWeeGo. From here, we can create our first user. I'm just gonna use Mike, put in a password, put in my email. It does give you options to subscribe to their newsletter. I'm just gonna uncheck that. And because uh, email server isn't set up, I'm just gonna uncheck that one as well. Click the start installation button and boom, we're already installed. Go ahead and click visit the gallery. It will invite us to do a tour. I'm just gonna click the start tour just so you have an idea. It'll take us to the interface and give us some pop-ups. I'm just gonna end the tour now. And you'll notice that there is upgrades available. So I can go ahead, click that. And once I go there, It'll have some updates. Right now it's just language, so I'll go ahead, click update all, and I'll go ahead and update the language files as well. So that's a pretty simple way of installing a photo gallery. This they you can have users not log on or log on to see specific photos. I'm just going to simply create an album, give this one a title logo, and in here upload an image. So now that I've created this album, I can now upload files. I can drag and drop files to the square. So I can do this on the home server or just from any web interface, or I can click the add photos button. 
There's a two megabyte limit. This can be changed. We're not going to show that in this video, but it has to do with the PHP settings. I'm just going to go ahead and find a photo in my computer, open it, and then when I'm ready, just hit the start upload button. So if you need to increase the file size, it's definitely possible. I'll just leave a comment down below and I'll give instructions if necessary. And then from there, we can go ahead and visit the gallery. The default is this dark theme, but you can go ahead and see the image. You can see that there is a sidebar with some information as well as a title and a subheading, which in the administration where we just were, we can change that under configuration. So if we go to configuration, we can just go into options, the very first one. And then from there, we can make changes. So I can just rename the gallery title uh, or the page banner. So let's go ahead and rename the gallery title. I'm just going to call it Mike's Photo Gallery. And there's a few other things. There's photo orders. There's some permissions that you can make some changes here. You can definitely go explore. There's also, if you do send out emails, a theme for the emails. We'll hit the save settings and I just want to also point out the themes. You have a couple themes pre-installed. Uh, there is the elegant and a smart mobile theme. There's also a few other themes to choose from and you can install some external ones as well. When I click visit gallery we can now see I've changed the title. I didn't change the banner but here we can now see the image, the image in the album and then now the image fully maximized. With that, that concludes our home server series. Uh, just a couple tips with this particular video. It is easier to install PeeWeeGo before installing SSL. So if you are following in order, just maybe switch the last two. Uh, I did tinker with it after SSL and I just found it a little bit more difficult, but still doable. Furthermore, there will be some additional extras that I will be following up with this server series just because I didn't want to have so many different applications in a single server that coming up there will be some videos that are from a clean Ubuntu install so that you can add those applications onto your home server or take them off depending on which ones you like better and really it's great to experiment and see really what works best for you. And also if there's any additional web applications you would like a tutorial done for, go ahead and leave a comment down below and those can be seen in future videos. So until then, keep teching on. Hi everyone, thanks again for watching this video. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And go ahead and leave a comment down below if you have any additional questions or comments. Furthermore, check out some of our related videos or find us in our social media. If you would like email notifications of whenever we release new video or written tutorials, you can go to our webpage technerdservices.com and sign up for our weekly newsletter. We will send to your inbox notifications of those new video and tutorials. Thanks again for watching and until next time, keep teching on.